Hello, welcome to DocPlex's Middle East Health Minute. Abu Dhabi has opened six COVID-19 prime assessment centers for community members infected with COVID-19 with a combined capacity to serve 2,000 to 3,000 patients per day. The US FDA has authorized the use of Remdesivir to treat mild to moderate cases of COVID-19 in both children and adults. Earlier, this drug was permitted to treat only the hospitalized or COVID-19 in patients. A Dubai-based gynecologist saves the life of a 32-year-old Sudanese woman with abnormal implantation of an embryo, with fetus growing in a scar. A series of tests detected no fetus in the uterus, thus confirming a scar ectopic pregnancy at an early stage. The patient was administered two injections in a gap of one week to terminate the pregnancy medically. The World Health Organization and its advisory group, the Strategic Advisory Group of Experts in the revised guidelines for administering COVID-19 booster dose, have divided priority groups of people into four categories, namely highest, high, medium and lowest priority use. These groups have been defined based on the extent of the severity of COVID-19 and death. People travelling to Abu Dhabi will have to show proof of booster dose for entering the city, considering the spread of the highly transmissible Omicron variant. This will be confirmed by a green pass on a mobile health application that will only appear after taking a booster dose. Do you think a booster dose is a strong weapon to fight against the Omicron variant? Share your opinion by commenting below. Health Minute, the most popular segment of Docplexes, is now available for the Middle East every Tuesday and Friday. Stay tuned for the latest happenings in the medical field. Happy Docplexing!